Nice affordable clothes. Step. Let's pick something that suits you. A good choice. A good choice indeed. Boniface, sweetie. Is that you? Ah. Old age does terrible things to one's sight. I didn't recognize you at first. How are you, Mum? I'm ashamed to admit that I've lost my key. Do you have a spare? For heaven's sake! How many times will you lose that key of yours? Of course I have a spare. You artists all live in your own little world. Please, accept my thanks. I would rather accept your rent. You promised to pay me several weeks ago, and I'm still waiting. I will pay you, I promise, very soon. You'd better do, my dear. Or else I'll just change the lock. And I won't fall for those cow eyes. Judging by post-mortem rigidity, the body lay here for one or two days. The wound is precise. It was inflicted by a razor or a knife. Soaked in blood. It seems as if the puddle of blood was here before the rags. A normal kitchen knife. Could be the murder weapon. I wonder where he got that fancy camera.
It appears the wine was truly awful. Despite the overall tendency towards mess, you cannot sit with the drawer pulled out like this. Someone left it after searching. Don't look at me like that, Sherry. I will not touch that dirty floor. Aunt May Whiskey, Brandy Bucks. Quite a collection he had here. The chest has been searched. Red skin, tails on the back, reminds me of Verda's description of the stolen painting. Red skin, tails on the back, reminds me of Verda's description of the stolen painting. The blood has dried. I've heard of this style of painting. It is called Expressionism. The photograph was not pulled out in time. Such a waste of material. The photograph was not pulled out in time. Such a waste of material. Look at this, John. Isn't it our stolen demon? Look at this, John. Isn't it our stolen demon? Red skin, tails on the back, reminds me of Verda's description of the stolen painting. Mercurio was developing photographs when the intruder snuck in. Mercurio heard him coming. While the thief was searching the chest, the painter ran towards him with a bottle in his hand. He smashed it across the thief's head. The intruder had no choice but to defend himself, and the weapon of opportunity happened to be a kitchen knife. Mercurio stepped aside to grab the painting, but the wine-blinded thief attacked Mercurio's throat. When the thief came to his senses, he saw Mercurio bleeding on the floor, he grabbed the rags and tried to bandage him, but it was too late. Why did Mercurio attempt to snatch the painting in the middle of a fight? To strike the intruder? Not with his painting, it was too important to him.
It's time for some chemical magic, John. Doesn't look like the painting we need, Sherry. As expected, but that doesn't mean it won't tell us anything. Let's put it on the easel where it belongs. Red skin, tails on the back, reminds me of Verda's description of the stolen painting. I guess this is his most ordinary painting. Spot the two differences, John? I guess this is his most ordinary painting. Spot the two differences, John? I guess this is his most ordinary painting. Spot the two differences, John. If the intruder didn't take it, the skull should be somewhere here. Nothing behind it. Nothing behind it. monster was actually a man. Poor girl. John, you ought to be thrilled. We are now hunting the devil himself. Uh, what were you saying, Sherry? I was too busy sketching the scene, you know, crimes and such like, daily routine. Did you find something? A photograph. It depicts a man in a red suit with tails sprouting from his back and multiple people in masks watching the scene. It all adds up. But the act of love, it wasn't given willingly, John. It was a violation. And the girl, she was with child. Give that to me now. Did you recognize someone? No. Although the victim is not from Cordona, she is African. Look at the ritual scars on her face. Get that image out of your brain. You have to continue the investigation. I must speak to the landlady. Perhaps she saw or heard something. Sherry, you cannot tell her the truth about Mercurio. It will hurt her. John, that's illogical. Sooner or later, she will come here and discover a corpse, and I still need to talk to her. Just avoid mentioning corpse. All right? Stick to the character. Tell her to call the police. I'll take that into account. And wait here. I've redrawn the people in the photograph. Now you can proceed with your investigation without those horrific details.
I guess this is his most ordinary painting. Spot the two differences, John? What's wrong, dear? You look like you've seen a ghost. Mr. Mercurio is dead. Oh. Is this... Uh, is this some kind of joke, Boniface? What do you mean you're dead? I mean that Boniface won't ever pay his rent again. Oh, my dear. If you need to delay your payment for another week, that is all right. There is no need for these games. But this is the last time you hear me. It's not about payment, Mom. If you open Mercurio's flat, you can see the dead body for yourself. Deary, you will not trick me into entering your flat again, do you hear? I am not Mercurio. I am investigating the theft of one of his paintings, and I chose to deceive you by disguising myself as Mercurio to get inside his flat. Very well, I'll play along. You're not Mercurio. Mercurio has died, metaphorically, or not. What else do you want? Mom, you're very difficult. All right, let's return to the point. Can you tell me if anyone else has recently entered the flat? Oh, you're talking about that limping man. I'm sorry I let him in. I was scared. And I thought maybe... Maybe he would motivate you to find money so that you would pay your rent. No offense, dear. Can you describe him? Oh, so you weren't at home. I was so certain you didn't leave your flat that day. He was of average height, had a limp and a tattoo on his neck, and he was smoking Malpal cigarettes. My husband used to smoke those. They have a horrible smell I can recognize from a mile away. Can I ask a favor? Of course, dearie. Please call the police and ask them to enter the flat. And don't look inside until they come up. What? What trouble have you stepped in this time? It really doesn't matter. Thank you, Mum. <laughs> 